so much for coming to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome if you're new or welcome back if you've been here before. I really appreciate you guys being here. Okay, so today I'm super excited again because I'm going to do the A5 version of on all freebies um, planner. I call it my project planner freebie. <laughs> so everything in here is either DIY, so that means you can do it at home, or but there's things like the planner cover that I had to buy. So in my last video though, I did in my last planners freebies video, I did show that you can buy these little rings that open and close. I think they're all called O rings, I believe. And you can use those as your rings of your planner if you don't have a planner cover. And I got those at the dollar store. So that's great. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right in. Well, I'll let you know what cover this is. This is a Mo term A5 in the croc, the white croc. And then I changed the rings out for gold and they're 30 millimeter rings. And okay, yeah, so everything in here is free. So we'll start with the pockets and I'll list everything below, down below. I link everything um, and to make it a little bit easier for you guys too. And I list all the supplies below too that I used in the making of this planner. So over here we have some pockets from Shineska Plans. Love them. You can find her on, on Instagram. Those are really new. And then here I just have a task card that I made. I took an old piece of divider material. I cut it down to the card, business card size, and I have some page flags. And so page flags is another one of the things that you would have to use buy if you wanted to make your own task cards. But I used my label maker to make my labels and this one's just for cleaning um, prompts. Pop that back in there if I can get it. If not, I'll just leave it. Okay. <laughs> so this card here is from Posh Papa Tree. This card here is from Plain and White. Sorry, I don't know if you just heard my cat let out a cute little meow. <laughs> she's rolling around on her back. I think she wants some pets, but she's gonna have to wait till the video's done. Uh, these three cards are from Mary Glam Planner. And then this little April Notes is from Rosie Papa Tree. It comes in her freebies that she sends out every month through an email subscription. And then this is from Paper Test Designs. And then jumping into the planner. Sorry if the lighting's a little bit bad over here. I'm filming really late at night and I'm using my ring light. So I hope it's okay. If it's not, let me know and I'll try to do something else for the next video or I can refilm it if it's really, really bad. Just let me know. Um, okay, so this one's from Plain and White. It says the agenda. 20, this one's from 2022, but honestly, I really don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. I can barely even notice that it says that. And then this card here is from Posh Paper Tree. What I did is I laminated it and I hole punched it. So it's just kind of like a little accent card. And then here I make um, these card holder pocket dividers, or not the divider, sorry, dashboards from a piece of lamination. And I use five millimeter lamination. You can get them off Amazon. I'll link it to below. And then I use sticky pockets that I buy off Amazon as well. And then I can make my own task cards here, all inspired by Maddie Plans. Maddie Plans is the original um, inventor of the task card system. And I, I really want to purchase some of hers one day. And I will, I think, next release that she comes out with. But for now, I just have these ones that I made at home. And again, with page flags, my label maker. And I'll link that below as well. And yeah, so I just did that. And I really, obviously, it looks super cute. If I can get this back in. Yes, I can. Okay, so I have one page of that that I did before. And then I have another one that I made. Um, this one is inspired by Amanda Lee Plants and my written gallery, like how they designed the card. So like the daily routine and then the fonts and everything and how the whole design of it is inspired by them. And then I just put little um, page flags on the back to make like little drops. You can use stickers as well. And then so I, this one I put three card pockets on. And then here's a beautiful freebie from Kika Printables. And then this is a freebie from the Bonjour Journal. And then over here we have a Luna Loose Plans freebie. So I was I couldn't decide between this one or this one to be the front, so I just put them both in there. <laughs> and this is Luna Loose Plans as well. And then we this is from Posh Pepper Tree. It's one of my favorite dashboards of all time. Guts, grace, and gratitude. And I have a lot of gut problems. <laughs> I actually had to lose my large intestine. Just a random fact. I have ulcerated colitis, and this was years ago now. So I had an ileostomy bag, but they reversed it, so I have a J pouch. But Anyway, so I always say I got no guts, got glory. <laughs> so guts, grace, and gratitude. And then this is from Usa Studio uh, Company. It's like that. And this is from Nitty and Gritty. And then this is a freebie post-it that I made. And this is uh, on, printed on the back is my minimal planner. 
and then freebie I don't mean <laughs> I don't need to say freebie I guess right but it's I love the word too freebie <laughs> and then so here's another dashboard that I made with clear sticky pockets this one I actually printed on acetate laminated and I before I laminated it I put like little dot stickers in there and so yeah so I made it on Canva there there you can see a little bit better printed it up on Canva, printed on acetate, laminated it. So it kind of looks like a clear see-through card. And then Posh Pepper Tree card again. And this one is a freebie from me. Uh, my freebies are linked in below too, of course. And this is your Paper and Line Co. freebie, or they rebranded to Dear Paper Plants. And then the Posh Pepper Tree ones are, you can print them double-sided actually. And this one is from my manual planner. It printed a little bit wonky on my printer because my cardstock was a little bit too thick, but I still think it looks cute. And then we have 25 trail designs, this beautiful one, this beautiful dashboard with, a, sorry, my cat literally just pushed the, um, the rug and it pushed and it made the camera shake. <laughs> uh, this one's from Luna Lou's Plans. And this one is from Ivy Mill Inc. Love it. And so with the dividers. So how I made these dividers at home, this is actually, you go to Walmart and you can look in the school section and you can find dividers that, you know, like for, um, three hole punch, uh, like for regular binders and they're bigger size, they're letter size. So A5 is just under letter size. So what I did is I just measured an A5 size. I drew my own little tab sticking out and then I just cut them. You can cut the material really easily, hole punched it and then use my label maker for a little thing there. So I always like to look out for um, any kind of materials that I can use to DIY stuff on my planners. But yeah, so they're the Avery dividers. You can also find them on Amazon. And then this is a freebie from Written Treasuries. And so I printed it and paper and laminated it. And then these sticky notes, this one's from Plan with B. This one's from Paper or Peanuts Planner Co. This is a Flora Papa Tree or Maria Plans. And this is Salty 22. And then I had this one in my other, I have some duplicates. I have some duplicates and I have some new stuff for uh, compared to my last per, my last flip was in personal rings. So this one has a couple duplicates, but some of the new stuff too. So this one's from Rose and Mist, and these are actually editable. So you can put in your own words there on Adobe. And so like you can put later, you can put later, done. Sorry, my cat just did it again. I didn't give her any catnip, but it seems like I did. <laughs> uh, like later, done, um, someday, you know, the GTD method. So you can plug any words that you want in there. And then this one is from Emmy Plans. So I love that. This is my favorite kind of inbox with the boxes like that. And then I printed a list one from SM Plans. So it's just in a list format and hers says inbox there. I also use these just in my list um, section too for regular list because it's really cute. And then we have a tool and twine freebie here that I printed on acetate. So this has got a lot of layering going on. So this is from tool and twine. This is from plain and white. So it's just like that. This is from Flora Papa Tree or Maria Plans because she changed, her name was Flora Papa Tree, but she changed it to Maria Plans. So that's what I'm trying to clarify. I'll make sure I'll write that in the description box too. I'll put both of her names together in one link. And then this is from Ash Plans. So pretty. Then my minimal planner on the back and then we're on to the list section. So this is a freebie from Salty22. She has quite a few of these um, section covers and I love them so much. This is one of my freebies. It's just a trigger list. I have volume one and volume two on the back. This is another trigger list from Plans with Emma. And that's her back side of that you can print. And this is from Day Designer. So it's 86 lists for the Planner Obsessed. And we, if you're here, you're probably Planner Obsessed too, right? <laughs> and then this is from Magic Meets Paper. Love it. Rock on. And then this is from Magic Meets Paper as well. And it's one of my favorite quotes. You are not a machine. You are like a you are not a machine, you are more like a garden, which is really good to remember because, you know, sometimes we work ourselves into the ground and we are organic, we're natural, and we need rest too, right? So we're not a machine. And then, okay, so this is a ruler that I made from also a, the same material, the Avery page dividers. I had some leftover, so I cut it into, just, I cut it into a length. I measured it, kind of eyeballed it, and I left a little bit to the top so I can make a ruler. And I hole punched it and then slid it with a pair of scissors so you can pop it in and out of your planner easily, like a disc planner. And then this one is from Lightly Lux. This notes, it's one of my babies. This is from Elysian. It reminds me of the cloth and paper um, executive notes. 
This is from SM Plants. And then this one's from Penis Planner Co. So they look the same, but SM Plants has a little heart up there. S or Penis Planner Co. is just the right, there's the blank line paper or the blank checklist. And then this is from Paper Test Designs. It's a grid. And then this is from Alicia's, Alicia's, Alicia, I think it's just Alicia, or um, Alicia, <laughs> Sierra. And I'll have it linked, of course. And then it has a little date area there, so you can write a lot of notes on here. I got two of those. This is from Studio LTE. They have amazing, amazing freebies too. This one says add to planner. And then this one says therapy notes. You can use it as that. It's for my manual planner, but I actually use it as lined paper in my notes section because I just really like the looks of it. It has a spot for keeping the date and the lines, the line spacing is what I really like. And so, yeah, so I just use it as a regular note paper too. This is for my manual planner as well. And it's a list before the year ends. So you can put in a bucket list here. And then another dashboard that I made had a clear sticky pockets, two sizes this time, and a piece of lamination. And then this was from Your Paper and Line Co. This is one that I made, it's a freebie. And uh, this is from, let me pull it over the really quick, I believe it's a change of planners. Change of planners for that one. This is from Laura Jane Plans. And then we have Life is Monica on the back here, um, Posh Peppa Tree, and another task card that I made. And then this is, okay, so this is from Hey Planner Girl. What she has, she has a lot of amazing freebies, but this one actually comes in the alphabet. So you have the whole alphabet and you can add it in whatever you want here. So I just chose the word boss and I put the definition. So you can make whatever you want to make with those. I love them. And then this one is from, I think I wrote, yeah, this, this one's from Salty22. She only has it in the A5 size maybe a six i think but i really like it that's when my little post-it <laughs> reminding me where it's from this is from my minimal planner and this is one of my freebies shit happens it's one of my favorite lines <laughs> it does it does this one's from crafty brenna oh yeah so here's some more layering going on crafty brenna and this is from planning with k stunning worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles it takes away today's peace which is damn true and then we have some freebies in the back here from Minimal Kylie and Floor Papa Tree. And then we go into the weekly section. So this is from Floor Papa Tree, Maria Plans, and Minimal Kylie and the Planner Spot. This is from the Plan Concept, just like a weekly check-in list. So I have it there at the beginning. And this is from Life as Monica. So I just wanted to put something on the back. So I'm using a pretty thin paper because I ran out of my 28 pounder stuff. So this is only 20 pounds. So that's why you can see the lines in the back. Usually if you use something over 24 pounds, you won't get that, but it doesn't matter. And then, oh, and then, so this is from Not A Notes. Sorry, brain fart. This is from Not A Notes and it's a vertical weekly and it really reminds me of the cloth and paper. And then these are some tabs too. If you join Point Hunt's Facebook group, they have a template for you to print on tabs. So you, all you need to do is buy the tabs, but these are from Avery and you need to have a printer. I kind of smeared mine a little bit because I didn't let it dry long enough, but yeah, so join Point Hunt's and they have a bunch of templates there for labeling stuff. So those are from Not A Notes. This one is from Papier Flotier. That's French that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> And I love it. It's a week on two page as well. And it reminds me of kind of like, kind of Hobonichi style. So it has Monday to Friday and then it has two nice spots for Saturday and Sunday. And I like that the spots aren't squished together. They have their own, they're the same size, but they're just vertical. So over here you have, you can put like a, um, what you're doing on that day. And then you can put a to-do list. And then it has another to-do list for the week and then note spots there. And this little spot here actually fits a post-it. So that's really nice. And then this one is from Elysian and it's, I tried to get like a good variety of inserts for you guys or find a good variety, like different types. So I wanted to get some Dan two pages, Dan one pages, horizontal, vertical. So we got a vertical timed here. Goes Monday to Sunday, then we got notes sections. And then here's a Dan one page from Alicia Sierra and it has three boxes for your priority and your weekly plans, tasks and notes. Just perfect. And then this is another dashboard that I made here and it has um, a card from Maria Plans or Flor Peppa Tree and two more cards that I made on. So this one I made and printed on acetate and cut out and I made it on canva.com. I'll make sure to put that in the description box to that website because it's great and it's a really fun creative outlet if you're just in the mood and it has a lot of templates and everything you can use. So 
it's a fun website and then this is another task card i made and then on the back is life is monica and then this is the dashboard from usa studios and i love how it's um in latin or it's kind of well it's got, it reminds me of europe and then this picture is in europe i believe too <laughs> it's a louis vuitton and it is by kubo and lucy i made another sticky note because i because she doesn't have her name on the top so there <laughs> so i had a little cheat sheet <laughs> and then this is my minimal planner and this is from ivy mill ink gorgeous crafty brenna this paint swipe one with like flowers in it it's so pretty and this is plan with dbb seven lovely logistics with some sticky notes on here floor puppetry and salty 22 and then we're into the dailies so this is from maria plans and this is from Puff and Pages Co. And I really, really like this one. This is one of my favorite da dailies of all time, purchased and freebie. It has a spot for your morning, afternoon, evening plans, a to-do list right here. I put the date in right here and then it has notes down there. I really like it. And it's, I can't believe it's a freebie. And then here's an Alicia Sierra, another daily. It's time to this one. So it's got your schedule over here, priorities and notes or a list section right there. And I have another timed one here. This one is from Nada Notes. So it's just like, it's just kind of, it's very similar. Actually, it's the same timeline almost, but it's just a lot like um, bolder lines. This one is from Elysian. So it's a day, two days on one page. So it's got your days right here, like vertical style. So that's from Elysian. And this one is from Suji Plans. And she's such a sweetheart um, in the planner community. Love her freebies. And yeah, definitely somebody that's awesome to support, like worth supporting. Well, all, all you planner babes are totally, um, but I just, yeah, I wanted to give a shout. All these people deserve shout outs and stuff too. Plus it's so grateful though to make all these freebies. Um, yeah, no, I love it and I really appreciate it. And it's one of the things that I was so shocked to find out in the planner community when I first joined about a year and a half ago was I'm like, oh my God, these people are making these beautiful things and they're just letting us use them and print them for free and it's so much fun too. So anyways, a uh, little little tangent over or i don't know if that's called a tangent is a tangent bad things only or it can be good things too question <laughs> so this is from eo edits it's gorgeous this is from my minimal planner and then we're onto the monthlies so flow puppetry and then this one is from plans of a virgo plans of a virgo sorry and it's a beautiful beautiful 2023 month on two page calendar and uh, it's yeah it's stunning so this one is a beautiful option and she, I only printed off the first month, but obviously the entire year is available to print off and it has a back page as well. So that's a beautiful option for a monthly. And then this was from Alicia Sierra and it's a monthly overview. So it has like priorities. You can, it's undated. So you plug in the month here and then it has your one to 31 days. So if you have any standout things, you can write them right here, task and notes. And then this is a day on one page by not a notes and yeah no it was awesome it's hard to find a day on one page for a freebie and it's dated too so this is 2023 so it has your month and then your to do's and then here's another beautiful classic from penis planner Co. she's been doing this for years now and giving it giving these to us in the planner community is a month on two page and they're dated so that is really fantastic and yeah you can just see how well it's laid out and it's super functional and i like the style of it too and then another um, one that I found was from SM Plants, and this one's undated. So if you prefer an undated calendar, there's an option here too. So this is from SM Plants, and it's got a cute little heart there, and it's from Monday to Sunday, and the boxes are really nice and big. And no, oh, I really like that option as well. And so this one is from Luna Luz Plants, a little more layering going on here. This is from Ash Plants. I printed it on vellum. And then we're on to the yearly section area so i named it agenda with my selfie 22 section cover and this is a freebie from the planner spot it's um important dates so like um for holidays and whatnot for 2023 and then on the back my middle planner has um her own uh no it's not her own it well yeah it's her own but it's like a year at a glance and but on the back of it if you look there's a second page and it's um uh, for word of the year so Definitely check that one out. I printed it on the back. And then this overview is from Puff and Pages Co. It's just a year to glance. It's not a year to glance. Sorry, I'm having another brain fart. It's maybe I'm filming it a little bit too late at night, but I really wanted to get it up and I was inspired to film. So, and I already have the other, I just posted the other video a couple days ago now that I'm filming it, that I'll probably try to get this up 
by tomorrow, which is Friday, April 14th, 2023. But anywho, um, so yeah, this is from Puffin Pages Co. And it's just your yearly, so you can your year overview. And it's in quarters too. And then I have another one here from Elysian. And this one reminds me of the Peanuts Planner Co. one that you buy from her yearly bundle. And it has just the year, or sorry, the month. And then it has two months on one page. And then you can have like your little notes over here, more notes. And yeah, so you can just see your months have a little bit more of a condensed view, but still fairly big. And then we have another dashboard that I made with four planner cards available on there. And these ones are all from Life as Monica. Love them all. And then on the back, this is Floor Pup Tree. Life as Monica, Life as Monica, and written treasuries and then we have the planner spot vellum over here well i printed it on vellum and it says plan the work and work the plan no point in hill <laughs> and this is from 25 trail designs gorgeous i printed that one on vellum and then we have a section cover we're onto the trackers from mary glam planner so she has a lot of beautiful section covers as well too so i just have one for trackers and then, sorry, that's a cloth and paper sticky note. Um, that one you'd have to buy. But you'd have to buy the sticky notes. You can buy it. I have link it in the description box. <laughs> but it's a big pack of white sticky notes from Post that I believe. And that's what I used to print on. And they work perfect. So this was from Not A Notes. It's just a monthly habit tracker. And this is a yearly um, habit tracker from Not A Notes as well. This is a beautiful mood tracker by Ivy Mill Inc. And she has one that already has moods that are um, plugged in there for you, or she provided the template so you can write in your own moods, or you can even write in your own habits if you wanted to. So I love that. And then this one's from the planner spot. And what I use this one for, I use it in my um, everyday carry as a cycle tracker. So I just highlight each days that I have my cycle. So I use that. And then this is from Elysian and it's a workout tracker. So I thought this was a super cool freebie. And yeah, so it has, each area you can write down like arms, legs, butt, back, and then it has the exercises you can do that you're doing for that section of your body. And then it has the week, five weeks that you can do it. So if you do it once a week or every day that week, so type of things. And then you have this month's goal. So that's really cool. And then this is from Elysian as well. And it's a budget tracker. So you can put in your bills here, your incomes, your yearly stuff and yeah your balance and then this comes in the same order this comes in the same file sorry and it has another bill tracker so you can write your bills here and then you can check off um, as each month goes by you can put in the due date and the um how amount of the bill this is from plan with b and it's a subscription tracker so i use this i put in um the where i'm paying or what the, like netflix so netflix disney um icloud and then the month of purchase can put it in there so you can put in the month of purchase i would put the month of the year it's good to know and then you can put in the amount and then the due date so each month that comes out and then this is from studio lte and it's a purchase tracker so online purchases i write in here and then the date the amount and then you check off shipped and received so that's the tracker section and then this one is from the love lux plan i printed on acetate and i really like how it came out very nice and bold this is from Maria Plans over top of a Luna Lose Loves dashboard. And then this is from Minimalish Plans. And then I have an et cetera section in here that has some goals. So this is from Salty22 again. This is from Minimal Kylie and Salty22. And then it has a nitty and gritty goals kind of like overview. Trying to tell you like things in your productivity goals for work, entrepreneurship, kind of like triggers. And then we have an actual goals trigger list from the planner spot. And then on the back is goals, the front is goals, and then the back is a planning trigger list actually. And then this is a goals insert from Squizzleberry, which I really, really like. It has, yeah, on the front, one to five goals, and you can print this over and over again if you have 10, 15 goals, you can use it as many times as you want. And you write your goal in here and then you can write your action plan. And this one actually says 2023 too, which is kind of cool. And then on the back, it has one to 12. So for the months of the year. So if you have um, monthly goals, you can pop them in there. And then this one's from EO Edits. And you can put your yearly goal in here. And then like habits to that you do daily to help achieve that goal. And then a pretty dashboard on the back. And then this is from the planner spot and it's the kind of the same idea. So you have your goal and then you have your steps that you do daily, weekly and monthly to 
work towards making that goal happen. And then I have a home section from Mary Glenn Planner. This is from Ivy Mill Inc. It's a home inventory list. So you can write the date that you purchased something and then the item that you have and then how many of them that you have. And then notes on the back. And then Ivy made another one here for food checklists. So you can have the date that you purchased it, the produce or the food. Oh, she has one for produce, proteins, and other. I didn't even notice that. And then the quantity, which is really cute. This one is from Pop and Pages Co. And it's a meal planner, like a meal plan. So it has Monday to Sunday and it has spots for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and supper. And then for me, <laughs> that's snacks. Or maybe it does snap for snacks. For me, it stands for snacks, not supper. <laughs> and then a shopping list here. And then this one's from Nada Notes and it's a vehicle maintenance. So it's fairly simple how you use it. Um, you put your date in there, the service that happened. So like I changed my oil and then how much it costs. And then I have like another um, section cover for like health stuff. This is Minimal Kylie and Floor Pepper Tree. And then this is from Studio LTE and it's a medicine log. So let's say you have a cold. Um, you want to write down, I have a cold. I took Tylenol for it and any notes with it. And then the date and the time. So you can keep track of that. It's really good if you have kids as well. And you have an appointment tracker here from Elysiane. And don't worry, I'll write there her name. It's it's L, sorry, it's E L I Z. Z E N N, <laughs> but I'll I'll write it in the description box, and then so this is an appointment tracker, and then you have from Studio LTE a doctor's visit, so you can write down what doctor you're seeing, reason for visit, all your questions, how this appointment went, your prescription completed, follow up. I love it, everything. I would I use every prompt in here, and then from Studio LTE. There's another one. This one's actually, they say it's for kids. So you can put in your kids' health appointments here, doctor, dentist, eye doctor. You can put in their clothing sizes, which is super cool. So, um, they're, cause you know, kids grow like weeds. So you put in updated and then you put the date that you updated it in. And then so you can have like their shirt or their clothes sizes there. And then over here you have their school information, their medical insurance, dentist information, dental insurance, eye doctor and insurance. You can even use this for your husband or your wife or whatever, whatever you like to use it for, but they label it as kids, um, kids, I can't remember the exact name for it, but it's child something. <laughs> and so this beautiful finance overview is from Plain Sheet Plants, another reminder there. And it's just a finance overview. So you can have your expenses and your bills, your income forecast and actual, and yeah, so your budget planner. This is from solely or richly noted sorry this is from richly noted and it's a self-care repertoire it says and it has like your physical health your mental and your spiritual and then things that you're going to do for your self-love act and then how you felt when you got those things done and then we have um a dove note co gratitudes so it has gratitudes from 1 to 31 so you can track like one line of gratitude a day which is really nice and then, so this one is a reading tracker from Elysian, and I love it because it has the writing guide here, and it has a spot where you can even print out a picture of the front of the book and put it there, and then it has a title, author, sorry, I don't know if I'm talking fast, I don't want this video to be like super, super long, so I was trying to speed it up a little bit, but okay, I'll try to slow it down a little bit because I don't want my words to get jumbled, <laughs> and yes, so that's a reading journal from Elysian. And then we have a social media tracker from Elysian. And I thought this was a really unique freebie to find. And so what it does is you can post to, and then you check off what um, social media platform you're posting to. Description, post type, category. So like for this video, I would check off YouTube. I would check um, flips, or no, sorry, my project freebies for my topic, the day and the time, description of like what's going on in the video. And then you can put your caption here, any links that you want and your title and then you have checklist hashtags and yeah kind of everything you need and this is from not a notes and it's a pen swatches and i have this in all my planners i really love it i just swatch the highlighter and then i write down the color name and the brand it's from and then we have another dashboard here from kubo and lucy and then on the back this um, car, this sticky note is from Royal Company Co, but this is a freebie design from the planner spot. And then what I did for a fly leaf um, is I took a piece of lamination and I just cut it to size and hole punched it. So it kind of acts as like a fly leaf here to protect your back pages. And then, so I have a whole bunch of cards going on here too. Oops, this one is supposed to be up like that a little bit. But, so this one is from 
it's a size guide and it's from Pla Pla Paper Test Designs. This is from Paper Test Designs as well. It's um, You can print this on sticky notes too. And then this is from Shaniska Plants and this is from Rosie Papa Tree. This one here is from Shaniska Plants and here's another task card that I made. And then these are from Mary Glenn Planner. I kind of have similar ones to the front. And then the Seek Magic one is Laura Jane Plans. And then I have another Shinishka Plans. And tucked away here is another card from A Change of Planners that I laminated them all. Or I didn't laminate these ones too, but I laminated a lot of these. Or I printed them on photo paper. So that's another thing that I love to do is printing. I get photo paper from the dollar store. So always make sure to go look um, for it. It comes in like... I have to sell at the Dollar Tree and it comes in a pack of eight or six and it has a blue packaging with black on it. And yeah, no, it's great photo paper. And what I do is I print dashboards on it, cards, anything really, stuff that I want to keep safe. So it's some um, shimmery or not shimmery, sorry, it's smooth, like a smooth feeling. And then it's like paper on the back. So, and you can print like photos off and frame them too. But so that was the project freebies planner size a five i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys learned something or had fun watching and i know i had fun filming it and making this of course love setting up planners <laughs> so if you guys have any questions please ask me below in the comment section so happy to answer anything and yes yeah, so, um if, uh, like and subscribe if you want to and i will see you guys in the next video super super excited yeah, I was just about to say super exciting, but I could stop myself. Okay, bye guys.